All right, let's take a look at the markets this morning. Uh, this is the morning. Uh, you guys have all received um, the software with our two trend filters. We have our original zone trend filter, which is these parallel green dots and red dots, and that tells us over overall trend of the market. And this will work on all markets right across the board. If we are green, we're looking for buy setups. And if we are red, we're looking for sell setups. What we have added, we've added an additional trend filter. This is our Simrinko. This is our bar type that we created. So this is our proprietary Rinko bar that we created. You're just going to insert the 25 Sim Rinko inside of the, of the zone break strategy. And these are going to fire off. So now you have dual trend or double trend filter for any type of market. What that does, it makes visual trading quite um, simple to see where the overall trend of the market is. As you can tell, the trend's been hard up all session. Right now it's uh, well, at 821 in the morning. We've been trending up since all the way back right at the close at 416 yesterday. That's when we had a trend change and it started trending up. Now the neat thing about using two trend filters is once you get the opposite color trend filter that comes in, meaning you get your first green dots that appear against red dots, that tells you the market is in a transition phase. So there's your transition phase to the upside, vice versa. Here's your first red dot trend filter that appeared against overall zone trend. There's your transition phase to the downside yesterday. So what you want to do is you want to stick with overall trend direction. You want to look for total shorts only until you get to this level. And then you want to look for total buys only when you get to the transition phase here. So ever since last night at 416, the market's been in a hard uptrend. So this is how you can stick to the right side of the market because as we know, if you counter the market, that's typically when you get your most stop outs. So the neat thing about this is you can see the inside dots that come up. This is our Simrinko, Simrinko NT8 Rinko bars. They're setting higher lows. If they're setting higher lows, then you're in a hard trend inside of our already existing trend filter. If you're setting lower highs, such as this, you are in a hard downtrend. So this way you can pick sweet spots in the market. We can find sweet spots in the market when to get long or short these markets. Now what we can do, as you can tell, the market gets really trendy sometimes. So you can see when this oscillator gets pegged at the bottom, negative 123.81, and we get these yellow sell signals, this becomes momentum selling. So these are zone break sells. These are zone breaks, entry levels. So there's three setups that we look for. So let's go over those real quick. So when we're looking for the three setups, they're very simple. You have a zone break momentum setup when the oscillator is paid with overall dual trend direction. What that means is that's one of our setups is that when this oscillator gets paid in the direction of these dual trend filters, 
and these yellow candles appear, then you have cell setups. These are zone breaks with momentum. These are cell setups. Now you don't need a stop larger than the Rinko size. If this is a 120-20 Rinko, which it is, your stop is just going to be, the initial stop is outside that Rinko bar. That's your initial hard stop. So if you're trading the NASDAQ futures, you can increase your Rinko size if you want to slow the market down. So if you use a 125-25, you'd use your stop just outside that Rinko size also. So that's your first overall setup you look with zone trend. That's momentum. When you get momentum in the market, you see these lower high dots appearing. Our yellow zone breaks start firing. That's a trade setup. Then we have a V-top setup with overall trend direction. What a V-top is, if the trend of the market is down, as soon as you get a retracement in the market with overall zone, so as you get a retracement in the market, if you get a reversal bar, a yellow zone break that comes up within three candles of that doji or hammer, the count starts after the hammer or doji, one, two, three. If it comes within three candles, you have what's called a V-top. That's a V-top in the market. So that's your second setup that you look for. So this is a V-top with the overall trend direction. And these are momentum plays because your oscillators pay. Short, 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 short. These are nice moves. So the entry would be below this candle of 97. Your stop would be outside the high of that candle. You can see the market just gets crushed on all these setups, especially the momentum. 93 and 3 quarters short. 90 and 3 quarters short. 86 and 3 quarters, 83 and a half, and so on. So that's your second overall setup. So you can use those with the overall zone trend. Now, green, green equals buy setups only, higher low dots, and red, red equals sell setup. So if you are green, green, green zone, green higher lows, You look for V bottoms, V bottom, there's a buy setup, because within three candles, yellow, the yellow candle from the hammer doge, there's a V bottom. You can see these are the setups, V bottom, V bottom, V bottom, sorry. And these are momentum setups, momentum, 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 because the oscillators pay. So for buy setups, you just do the opposite. There's your hard market. Buy set up, buy set up, V bottom, V bottom, V bottom, buy set up, buy set up. And then when you are trending to the other side, on the downside, this is your transition phase when you get your opposite color dot that comes up. Opposite color dot comes up within. The overall trend is telling you we are now going to have a transition phase to the downside. And then we start the overall process. Very simple. V top, V top. And then we get to momentum, V top, momentum. So you can see these first two setups really, really do well. V top, momentum, 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 momentum just gets cranked. V top. Momentum, 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 and so on. So you repeat the process. This morning, we've had nothing but buy setups. If you look this morning, the traders have done quite well with the S&P all since midnight. We've had a V bottom here within three candles. There's a V bottom. V bottom. V bottom, V bottom, and so on, okay? So what we'll do, news just came out. We'll look for the uh, we'll look for overall trend to see if it stays intact. Once you get the first red candle, we'll look for a possible 
reversal. What we have on this third setup, we've been in a hard uptrend all night. So what you want to do is you want to look for liquidity grabs. Liquidity grabs with zone direction. So this third chart, our third setup in the room, you'll see when the market grabs liquidity, taking out the counter trend traders, you will get a yellow candle in the direction of zone trend with the liquidity grab. So your dual trend filters, you want to stick on that side. I'll blow this up so you can see it a lot better. All these little spikes down in the market, they're, uh, the smart money is grabbing liquidity against the overall trend and then they're turning it right back green. They're grabbing liquidity and <clears throat> then you get a combination of my zone break. <clears throat> this is a Liquidity grab zone break combo. This is a buy setup. It's uh, 22, gets as high as 29. This stop can be smaller, can be 15 ticks. Some of you like to just keep 20 ticks for the 120, 20 Rinko and this together, which is fine. It's a 15 tick stop after entry, but you want to see it grab liquidity and then get the yellow zone break in the direction of trend. All right, you can see this big liquidity grabs in the direction of trend. They're grabbing liquidity and they're bringing it. They're bringing it to the direction of the overall dual trend zone. So what you want to do then, we want to do what? We want to look for zone trends. <clears throat> zone trends, dual zone trends in the direction of these two trend filters. Because if you get this right, look at this, you get, you're about 50, 60, 65% there already of getting the overall tone right. This is the tone. Look how easy it is to see with the dual trend filters. It gets your mind right. It makes sure you're not counter trend trading the market. Because when you counter the market, the overall tone, that's when you can get run over when this market sets higher highs or lower lows. So you can see since 4 o'clock yesterday, we've set higher highs for the past eight hours. So you want to stick to that side of the market. Going into the close, we set lower lows for these setups. All right, so you can use those three setups in the direction of overall trend, and you're good to go. We do have an automated algorithm in the room. I have it trading from 9 to 10, uh, 9 to 11, sorry. 9 to 11. Now with the automated algorithm, obviously past performance is not indicative of future results. But we do have accuracy in this algorithm from the 9.30 to 11 range. And what this algorithm does is it looks at overall liquidity grabs with, with overall zone breaks. This is a large contract. Micros are one-tenth of this. One-tenth. One-tenth of profit. One-tenth of loss. So, like I said, this is the past 90 days I just showed you. What it does from 9.30 to 11, it looks for zone breakout liquidity grab combos right there now what I have for members is I'm getting an actually update also to this guy right here for even smaller stops when we have a trend change a zone trend change the first liquidity grab combo that comes in our liquidity grab, we're going to go long or short. And get into these sustained moves of the pushes like this. So the first one we get on a liquidity grab, the algorithm will, will read it. It will get shorter along the market 
and we can use that on any type of Rinko size that we want. Right now, you can tell with this chart, very simple, the market's grabbing liquidity on these spike downs, and then it resumes trend right back to the upside. We won't know if it's a liquidity grab, like right now they're trying to grab liquidity again. It's red, if it closes back green, they just grabbed all this liquidity to take the market higher. This is where they prey on the counter trend traders. All these oscillators, the MAC, convergence, pivot levels, Fibonacci levels, all these traders counter trend trade in the market at these key levels that they think and what the market does, they just retrace it and they bring it right back up with the direction of our dual trend filters and they bring it to the upside. So you can take liquidity grabs in the direction of our zone trend filters. If you take this in the direction of our zone trend filters, after it closes back green with the combo of the zone breaks, or even with liquidity grabs in the direction of the zone breaks, you get some nice sustained moves. So those are the three setups with overall zone trend. Very simple to see. We use that in the direction of our dual zones to make sure we get on the right side of the market. Very visually easy to see when you're setting higher lows or lower highs. Now what we'll do, like I said, is we will look for a we'll look for a transition where you get the opposite color trend filter that comes in against our zone trend, meaning our Simrinko, once it prints opposite color dots, that's a transition phase. That's going to be choppy until it gets out into the next trend and it starts setting higher lows. You go right back into the cycle. These are how the cycles works and work in the market. You go green to red, red to green. There's your transition phase to the downside. You can use this with all the markets right across the board. 